14 fantastic phenomena of nature. Welcome to Wonders of Nature Wednesdays. Number 14, the Hesdalen Lights. Mysterious lights of unknown origin have been observed at night in a seven and a half mile Hesdalen Valley in central Norway. The flashing orbs can be as big as cars. They're usually bright yellow, red, or white, and can appear below and above the horizon, lasting from a few seconds to more than an hour. What could be the source of the lights? Some experts theorize the lights are made of plasma or could be a type of ball lightning. One theory suggests the balls of light are created by ionized gas bubbles made when fumes from the sulfurous river Hesja react with humid air. Yeah, okay, sure. But can you come up with a better explanation? Number 13. These strange white disc-shaped bubbles are trapped just under the frozen surface of Vermilion Lake in Banff National Park in Alberta, Canada. The shapes do look beautiful, but looks can be deceiving. These are actually pockets of methane gas, which is highly flammable. When microbes consume dead organic matter on the lake's bottom, it releases methane, which freezes into bubbles the closer it gets to the surface. You can see that more bubbles are stacked up below, forming a column of sorts. The gas the gas itself is fairly benign, but the bubbles could cause quite a gas explosion if they ever get lit up. Number 12. Catatumbo lightning. There's only one place in the world where this atmospheric phenomenon occurs, over the mouth of the Catatumbo River in Venezuela. The ongoing powerful flashes of lightning occur on average up to 297 days a year, and sometimes up to 280 times per hour. Scientists think the phenomenon could be due to wind patterns and local topography. Thunderclouds could be formed by warm Caribbean winds crashing into cooler air from the Andes, resulting in bursts of energy that could charge all the light bulbs in Latin America. Number 11. Fairy circles. These bizarre barren patches of land have been found in Namibia along a 1,200 mile stretch of desert between South Africa and Angola. The circles measure around 13 feet across, but have been found up to 40 feet wide in the arid grasslands. Now, earlier in 2016, similar types of circles showed up in remote parts of Australia's outback as well. So, how did these circles get there? Well, some theories say that termites may nibble at the roots of grasses, which causes them to die. Local legends claim the circles are burn marks left by dragons. Still others claim it's UFOs. Well, you'd kind of expect that, right? But what do you think? Tell us in the comments. Number 10, the sardine run. Each year from May through July, billions of sardines spawn and swim north along South Africa's east coast. All those sardines create a feeding frenzy along the coastline. Not much is known about this phenomenon, but experts believe the water has to drop under 21 degrees Celsius before the mass migration will take place. All those sardines attract dolphins who round up the fish into bait balls up to 20 meters in diameter. Sharks, birds, and whales will usually move in to take advantage of that opportunity. Number nine, Giant's Causeway. Located in Northern Ireland, this area contains some 40,000 interlocking basalt columns. The tallest columns are 39 feet high, and the solidified lava in the cliffs is 92 feet thick in places. The unique formations are the result of an ancient volcanic eruption, but according to legend, a giant actually built a causeway here, hence the name, and those columns are all that remain of it. Number eight, lenticular clouds. So, is this a UFO or some other type of extraterrestrial craft? No, they are lenticular clouds. The lens-shaped formation usually manifests on the downward side of a mountain range or a mountain. When moist, stable air flows over a mountain, it creates a series of oscillating waves, giving us those spectacular, if alien, shapes in the sky. Number seven. Fire Tornado. It's known by other names like Fire Whirl, Fire Twister, or Fire Nado. 
which sounds like a cable TV movie, doesn't it? It's a whirlwind that can occur when turbulent wind conditions and intense rising heat combine and form whirling eddies of air. Those eddies contract into a structure resembling a tornado that sucks in combustible gases and burning debris. They're often created when a firestorm generates its own wind, which can morph into a vortex of flame. Larger fire whirls can generate wind speeds over 100 miles per hour and reach temperatures of 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. They can last for over an hour and are extremely difficult to extinguish. Number six, rainbow eucalyptus. So here's a tree that would have been right at home in the 60s. Bits of the tree bark are discarded at various intervals over the year, revealing the bright green inner bark. And that later matures and turns into vibrant vertical streaks of orange, blue, red, and purple during the summer. The trees can be found and are native to tropical areas of New Guinea to Mindanao in the Philippines. They can grow over 200 feet tall and measure up to six feet wide. Do you think they look like a Skittles tray? Number five. Brinicles, literally brine icicles that form deep under the ocean. And if you don't like the name Brinicle, they're also known by a nice nickname that refers to their deadly nature, Icicles of Death. Brinicles are formed when salty brine is created by newly formed sea ice. Heavier than seawater, the frozen brine sinks to the bottom. As the water surrounding it freezes, an icy sheath is left in its wake. And when the brine hits bottom, an icy web forms and spreads across the seabed, freezing anything it touches. And that includes any sea life that happens to be in the area, like sea urchins and starfish. Number four bioluminescent waves. The surreal sight of glowing blue water wasn't photoshopped or digitally manipulated. It's the result of a massive tide of bioluminescent phytoplankton. When the minuscule organisms get stressed for whatever reason, they emit that blue light. This picture by Will Ho really looks like a sea of stars, doesn't it? The glowing blue tide was found on Vadu Island in Maldives in 2014. You can also see how far into the distance the bioluminescent effect can be observed. Now, some people say it reminds them of Avatar. Others have called it Smurf Surf. Does it make you feel blue? Number three. Christmas Island Crabs. These land crabs are native to Christmas Island and the Cocos Islands in the Indian Ocean. It's estimated that more than 43 million adult red crabs live on Christmas Island alone. And each year, these creatures stage a mass migration from the forest to the shoreline in order to reproduce. It starts at the beginning of the rainy season and is considered one of the top 10 most spectacular animal migrations. It's also a hugely popular tourist attraction. Number two, hole punch clouds. You might want to call this one Heaven's Gate, but it's actually a hole punch cloud, or false streak holes as they are also known. The effect is caused by sub-zero temperatures interacting with water droplets in the clouds that haven't yet frozen due to a scarcity of ice particles. When those ice particles do form quickly, a domino effect is created as the water droplets connect with the crystals. The crystals get heavier and suddenly fall, and that leaves a gaping hole in the cloud. But we're guessing you probably had all that sussed out already, right? Number one. Water spouts. There are two types of water spouts, tornadic water spouts and fair weather. Tornadic water spouts are tornadoes that are formed over water or move from land to water and can have destructive characteristics similar to that of a land tornado. They're often accompanied by high winds and seas and severe thunderstorms. Fair weather water spouts are not associated with thunderstorms. They develop on the water's surface and work their way upward, while the tornadic variety will develop downward in a thunderstorm. That narrow vertical funnel shape is caused by wind force changing direction as it goes higher and can move at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. Water spouts can occur at any location over the world's coastal regions. 